Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how you can use switch statements in JavaScript. A switch statement is basically just a special type of if statement that we can use to compare one value to a bunch of different values. So in a lot of circumstances, when you're trying to help your program make decisions, you're going to want to use an if statement. But in some special circumstances, you're going to want to use a switch statement and it will seriously make your life way easier. So I'm going to show you guys how you can use switch statements and we'll talk about in what situations switch statements are appropriate. So for the purposes of this tutorial, let's say that I want to make a function which takes as an input a number and it'll spit out the corresponding day of the week. So it'll take in a number between zero and six and depending on what the number is, it'll spit out a different day of the week. So here's, I just kind of drew this little like map. So I'm mapping numbers to days. So we could say zero is equal to Sunday. One is equal to Monday and et cetera. Five is going to be equal to Friday, six Saturday. So if I pass this function as zero, it would return Sunday. If I pass it a five, it would return Friday, et cetera. So that's the kind of function that we want to write in this tutorial. So I'm going to show you guys how we can do that and how we can use switch statements to make that really easy. So we'll create a function and I'm just going to call this get day name, right? That's basically what it's doing. And inside of this function, we are going to accept one piece of information, which is going to be the day num, right? So this will be the number of the day. So zero through six. And over here, I can just create a variable, we'll call it day. And as we go through this function, we'll set day equal to either Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. And then down here at the bottom, we can just return day. So this method or this function will actually return the uh, string day. So one way that I could actually go about writing this function is using something like an if statement. So I could just say if uh, day num is equal to zero, and if this is the case, then we can just say day is equal to Sunday. And then I can come down here, we can make another one else if, and we'll check to see if day num is equal to one. And if this is the case, actually we need curly brackets, then we'll set day equal to Monday, etc. So I could do this for every single day of the week, right? And I could make else ifs for each one and then we would have a functioning program, right? This would work. We could do this with an if statement, but this is like really sort of context heavy. You can see there's a lot of code here and you know, using an else if and then writing this whole condition out each time is a little bit tedious. Now, this is a situation where we would actually want to use a switch statement. And what I want you guys to notice about this is that for each one of the conditions inside of this is elf, if else block. So for this condition up here and for this condition down here, and then for the next, you know, five conditions that we would have to write, we're basically checking to see if day num is equal to a different value. So in every single one of those conditions, we're checking if this same variable day num is equal to a different value. And if you have a situation like that, where you're checking to see if the same variable is equal to a value in each one of your is, if else conditions, then you have a perfect candidate for a switch statement. So in our case, this is a perfect candidate. And I can actually use a switch statement and it'll make writing this entire thing a lot easier. So I'm going to show you guys how we can do that to create a switch statement. We just say switch and we're going to make an open and closed parentheses and an open and closed curly bracket. So this is the basic outline for a switch statement it actually looks kind of like an if statement inside of this parentheses. I want to put the value that I'm going to be comparing in each one of my conditions. So in our case, it's day num, right? We're comparing day num to zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're comparing it seven different times. And so whatever value you're comparing, you want to put it inside of these parentheses. Now down here, we can specify what happens during each case. So in other words, if day num is equal to zero, we can do something. If day num is equal to one, we can do something. And that's how we can use switch statements. So I can say case, and this is a JavaScript keyword. And then we can type out the value that we want to compare day num to. So I'm going to say zero. And then I just want to type out a colon. So basically what this is saying is in the case that day num is equal to zero, 
we want to do something. And then down here on a new line, I'm just going to write out a code block, basically specifying what I want to do. So in our case, we want to set day equal to Sunday, right? And then once I write out my little code block, I can just make a new line and I'm just going to type break. And this break keyword will basically break us out of this switch statement. So since we figured out what day num was and we set day equal to Sunday, we're done with this switch statement so we can just sort of break out of it and uh, there's no need to do anything else. So I can actually make one of these for each number. So I could say case one. And now in the case of one, we want to say day is equal to Monday. And we can, again, just say break. So you can see that this is a lot cleaner than using those if else blocks. And it's also just a lot easier to visualize, right? So it's way easier for me to see like, okay, in the case that it's zero, we're doing this. In the case that it's one, we're doing that. So it's a lot cleaner and honestly, a lot easier to write and manage. So I'm actually gonna create one of these for each day of the week, and then we'll come back and we can talk about how this is gonna work. All right, so I've gone ahead and made a case for every single day of the week. So you can see we have case zero, one, two, three, four, et cetera. We have one for every single day of the week. And you know, even though we're checking seven different conditions, you can see this is actually pretty clean, right? So it's really easy for me to see you know, what each one of these things is doing and it's really easy for me to visualize. And that's why switch statements can come in handy. All right, so let's test this function out. We'll see how it does. So I'm just gonna say get day name and we're gonna pass this a value. So I'll just pass it zero. And actually, why don't we print the answer out onto the screen? So I'll say document.write, and we'll just print out the result that we get back. So this would should print out a day of the week. So in our case, it should print out Sunday, which it does. I could pass in any number now, for example, four, and it'll give me Thursday. So it's gonna give me like whatever day of the week for the number I pass in. So mission accomplished, right? We created the function we wanted to create. Here's the problem though. What happens if I pass in a 90, for example, right? So I pass in the value of 90 and I'm gonna refresh the page. You'll see that we get undefined, right? That's because I don't actually give this day variable a value until one of these cases is true. And so if none of these cases is true, then this day is never gonna get a value. It's always gonna be undefined. And this is where the default case statement can come in. So inside of a switch statement, you can actually create another little case here. And we just call it default. So I can just type default colon. And now down here, this code will execute when none of these cases are true. So if none of these things uh, are the case, then this is gonna get executed. So I could just say day is equal to, and now we could just pass like a, error message. So we could say like day doesn't exist. And actually we can make this more detailed. So we could say um, day num isn't a valid number. And over here, instead of getting undefined now, we'll get this error message. So day doesn't exist, 90 isn't a valid number. So if I passed in, I mean, really I could pass in any number. We'll pass in like a 60, same thing, right? And it's giving us a detailed error message. But if I pass in a correct date, so if I passed in like two, now it's gonna give me the correct day. So that's how you can use switch statements to build this function and also how we could use this default statement in order to send like an error message. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.